Hi guys, welcome back to Always Games TV. Me and Carl are joined by Mark Morris. Thank you so, no so problem, much no for this interview. I really do appreciate both. it. Me and Carl are big, big fans of Prison Architect. Cool. Cool. And uh, we've planted a fair few hours between us into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, how, you, how many do you think? You've you got me beat. I, I've probably lost about a week or so. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's pretty deep. Some of the, some of the prisons that we see on well, the Steam Workshop and things, it's just huge, you know? Yeah, I, I set off one day with brand new at load in. So oh, I'll just play a little bit, then I'll go down yeah, for coffee, yeah, get my yeah. breakfast. Sat there, thought, I'm a bit hungry now. I looked at my watch, it was two o'clock. Yeah, and, Whoa, yeah. what happened to the day? I heard stories like, oh, I sit down at 6 pm, you know, I'll just have a quick game before dinner yeah. and then 3 am, you know, it's yeah. like, oh, no, I've got to go to work yeah. in the morning. <laughs> what happened today? I didn't get stuff done. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, save quick. You've got a prison, you know, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's, that's yeah, I, I, I was, I was so happy with that prison. Was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, sent, I, sent, I sent video yeah, 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 brilliant. to these guys saying, look at this. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, and I'm looking at it, I've got one cell and all my inmates are complaining and fighting and I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, prison's yeah, on yeah. fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, burn, burn it to the ground. But no, thank you so, so much for the interview. Um, so, with Prison Architects, mm -hmm. it's been out for, on early access for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. um, what are your plans for the future? Uh, we're going to launch this year. We, we know internally, we've got a good idea internally about when we're going to launch, but we're not releasing that just yet. Um, we've been in, I think we've just done Alpha 30, so we, you know, we're going to be coming up to like three years of development. And for us as a studio, we were just getting, getting to the end of it, you know, getting a bit fatigued with the project. And I didn't want to lose that like, excitement and momentum. So we needed to, to really look at the list of things we wanted to include the game and say, right, what is absolutely critical to be in, uh, included and what could we you know, bump to maybe you know, releasing sort of, sort of, uh, after we've, um, we've hit version one. So that's on the cards for us. We've got uh, a tablet version, uh, the iPad version's here today. We've got an Android version as well, but that's not quite ready for um, showing yet. Uh, so that's going to be uh, released. That'll probably be released before we finish PA, but timescales on that, I'm not sure. Next sort of, I don't know, two or three months, yeah. something like that. A very close release then, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we're, we're hoping that we're going to track the, uh, the PA Alpha branch. So all of the updates that we're doing on the on the PC version will roll out onto onto this as well. So that's that's the plan. So that's you know, but I think we can get this out a little bit earlier than waiting for the launch. Um, you've probably been asked this quite a few times, but like, what gave you the initial idea to do like a prison? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we were working on a game called Subversion. We've been working on that for on and off since 2001. And it was all based in uh, in a city, basically. We had a city generator that automatically generated buildings and, uh, and systems within those buildings. And one of the levels was um, a prison level. And the idea was that you as a player had to, uh, sorry, uh, you as a player had to pull it, the prisoner out of uh, prison. It was a rescue, right, prison break. But Subversion, we couldn't ever get it to work. It, it never really played very well, it wasn't fun. And we were, we were a bit lost at that point, really, about what to do. And uh, Chris took a couple of weeks off. He went to uh, San Francisco on holiday. And he just took a trip to Alcatraz, just as a tourist, as you do. And while he was in Alcatraz, he was, he was looking at the, um, all the doors, you know, these big mechanical mechanisms that allow you to open all of the cell doors at once. And he thought to himself, because it's a bit of systems design, he thought, I could code this in a game. You know? and, he, and the penny dropped for him that the reason he'd spent so long on Subversion was because he was enjoying designing the levels more than playing them. And suddenly those two things came together and he thought, what about designing and building a prison? You know? And then that was it. It was like a flash of inspiration and he, and he scribbled a, like, a notebook full of notes on the plane home and that was it. PA was, PA was born. And then it was born. That's right. That's, right. <laughs> no, that's absolutely fantastic. Like Carl says, we, we've lost so many hours yeah. <laughs> into this game and it is the sign of a great game. If you can forget about time and forget about the jobs that you, you need to do at home and the hours just tick away and it turns from breakfast to dinner very, very quickly. Right, thank you very much. Um, so it. It, any, what's coming in the future for updates or anything special that's on the horizon? Um, I'm not going to tell you what's coming up because <laughs> Damn it. I, yeah, yeah, because we, we might not be able to achieve it. So I wouldn't want to overpromise. Um, we've got a, a list. There are some critical, outstanding features that need to make it into the sandbox, as we call it. So there's a couple of things that absolutely have to be in there. And if you think about it, you can probably figure out what they are. And um, that's what we're that's what we're working on. We're working on. We've had a long time on this game now. So the things that we need to put in are by definition the things that we haven't been able to figure out how to put in before. So it's, it's, um, it's getting to, in some ways, the hardest time now to figure out how we're going to make these particular systems work and play well, which is sort of why I don't want to tell you which, which they are. <laughs> so we're just working really hard to try and 
finish those off and, and dump them in there and then we've got to spend a little bit of time polishing the hell out of it for um, version one. Thank you very much, Mark. No it's been problem. an absolute pleasure it's to meet you yeah, and have this interview. As I say, we've been a big fan for a long time. It's great to see you in person. Yeah, great. Thank Cheers, you very guys. much, guys. Uh, if you want to dial it into Always Games TV to find out more about Prison Architect and EGX Res, don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, all the good stuff. Cheers, guys.